Most beginners that want to grow their own pineapples will go to the grocery store, purchase a pineapple, take it home, twist the crown off, plant it in the ground, and if they're lucky, in about two years, they'll have their own pineapple. But what if you purchase a pineapple online, a pink pineapple that doesn't have a crown? How do you grow them? Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome to my Tropical Garden channel. Today we're going to explore how I go about getting little pineapple plants from a pink pineapple that doesn't even have a crown. But make sure to hit that like, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. So let's take a look at how I propagate the pink pineapple. So let's take a look at the pineapples that I'm using in this demonstration. They were purchased online as just plain pink fleshed pineapple. There was no name, there was no grower's name, there was no, I had no idea what variety, except for it was pink pineapple, a generic variety. Um, but most of us know that there's a variety out there of pink pineapple that they sell for upwards of $50 a piece. I don't think this is them, or they would have had a name on it. And it would have been a lot more expensive. But as you can see, the crown has been cut off of these pineapples. So what are we gonna do if we wanna try to regrow these pineapples? I will show you in a second, but let's take a closer look at these pineapples. As you can see, this one, it's quite fresh. It didn't all dried out. This one's a little more dried out. And in between those little leaf bases, there are buds growing. You just barely can see them. They're, I'm not sure, they're a meristem. I think there's a scientific name for them. Uh, apical meristem has been cut off when they shear the top off. And then there's some dormant buds, that's the word. Dormant buds amongst those little leaves. So the, what we wanna do is we wanna encourage those to grow. We have, uh, I have all these pineapples in various stages of growth and they are going to go into my garden in the, in the spring. What I had done is I had recently purchased a, uh, several generic pink pineapples off the web. Believe it or not, these three pink pineapples only cost me $11 after discounts and coupons and all that. $11 for a total for three pineapples. And as you can see, they still have part of the crown on them. I have no idea why the company or the, the grower would cut the pineapples, but it's hard to propagate them without the crown. But I'm going to show you how I do it. First, let's take a the, one of the pineapples and we're going to cut cut the top off just like you would uh, if the pineapple had a crown on it take a look beautiful beautiful pink and then what we need to do is remove any excess flesh you don't want that to rot. And then just like you would normally, you want to remove any extra flesh off this. My hands are slippery. But just like you would do with, take a look at that, this is just like a crown. Now you can see we're, we're just starting to get into the Vestual roots. As you can see, there's a big old root there. Let's see if you can get that into frame. And there they are. Look at that. Look at all those little vestual roots. Now you want to get as much of these leaves as possible off because you don't want it to get any root rot. So this should be about it. Let me get this one last leaf off and then I'll show you how. So with all this handling and uh, during the shipping, you're gonna find that it has bacteria on it and you, uh, this part is not needed. This does not grow. 
So you want to take off any as much flesh as you possibly can. This last bit of flesh. And then, so it has picked up bacteria. So what I do is I dip this in a solution of one teaspoon, or excuse me, one tablespoon of bleach in five tablespoons of water. And I just drop it in there like that real quick. Now, it's probably not sterilized, but at least it, uh, at least it's killed some of the bacteria. And I leave it there for approximately uh, long enough for it to dry out. Once I do that, I take my sphagnum moss that I have pre-wet. You can get this at the big box store. And I get me a container that is tall. I like clear ones. And I put the sphagnum moss in there. You want to wring the sphagnum moss out really good so that it's... Make sure. So you got... I got... You want to wring it out so that it's just... Just barely wet. And then you want to fluff it up. So we have our, we set that in there. We put a lid on it. So it creates like a mini greenhouse environment. And then we put a lid on it. And then what we do is we set it on a heating mat. And this will keep this indoors about 85 degrees day and night. Once you see some sprouts coming out of that little disc, I plant it into regular potting soil and slowly but surely introduce it to the outside sun. As you can see, that little disc is sprouting out all kinds of new roots. Easy peasy. My name is Jeff. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. You have a great day.